Was the stock market not delusional last year when it sent Netflix stock down 70 plus percent, when it sent Meta stock down 70 plus percent, when it sent Tesla stock down 70 plus percent, when it sent Shopify stock down 70 plus percent, and it was sending the greatest companies in the world that have unbelievable futures in front of them, right? Palantir 70 plus percent, like the, lo the list of stocks that got obliterated 70 percent plus, right? For companies that have insane opportunities in front of those companies for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And the stock market sent those stocks down 70 plus percent. This is stock market in complete delusion. Those stocks should very rarely go down. And when they do go down, it should be like 10, 20 percent type pullbacks. Not 50 percent, not 60 percent, not 70 percent. That is delusional. That is way too caught up into just a fear moment in the market, right? A capitulation panic in the market. And that's what happened, right? And obviously, buyers like myself and maybe many of you guys, we have to step out there and buy a lot of those companies trading at silly prices. And believe me, many of these companies are still trading at silly prices. There's tremendous opportunities all over this market. And there's going to continue to be tremendous opportunities in this market this entire year. Okay. The opportunities aren't going to be as good this year as they were last year, but there's still going to be so much money to be made in this market. It's ridiculous. And you have to work with urgency when you get these sorts of markets, because many of these stocks folks are still down 40, 50%, and they have tremendous next five and 10 years in front of them, right? So the bears want to get you caught up into everything that's going on short term and trying to get you distracted and getting you to sell at bad prices because we know the game they're playing. They're playing a game of getting absolutely wrecked right now in the market. The longs, we never got wrecked. We, we went down in our portfolios, down in our accounts, big deal. Big deal. Like there's just more shares for us to pick up. We don't have to make a profit today. We don't have to make a profit tomorrow. As long as we're right over this next three, five, seven years, that's all that matters, right? And you look at some of my greatest stocks ever. Like look at how they performed over a three, five, seven year span. Look at Tesla, look at Elf, right? Look at these stocks and how they do over time. That's what matters in this game, right? The short term, the one year, the the 18 month outlook doesn't doesn't change. But for a short seller, you have to you have to make money now or you're done. You're finished, right? Because next thing you know, that stock doubles up and now you're down, you know, you you you've lost everything. You lost everything in that stock.